smells like ice cream. <laughs> I can't explain it. Hey everyone, this is Aokao playing Super Sammy World, and we're in Ice Town. This little thing is here, and here's Don't Fall Behind. I guess we're just going right in, huh? I've already read... Uh... Is that a rail? Like, I'm, I'm reading uh, those diamonds as like a rail that the platform will go on. Yeah, well, okay, got my answer immediately. And that kind of fits in neatly with uh, the hint we got for... Oh, I cannot... Yeah, auto. Lock camera. Got it. Die. I didn't die yet. Soon. But yeah, so like, so so I read the hint, you know, for S3, since I got S2 and 1 already unlocked. And it was like, you know, don't eat the pastrami without the Serengeti. That doesn't make any sense. No, it was make sure you got money. If you want to get... If you want to get, uh, the last thing. And in the comment, yeah, like, I got, whoa. I got, I got a comment that I thought makes sense. It probably means if you need money, it's because you need to have, like, a lot of time saved up. And, uh, considering that I am currently on an auto-scroll, it being an owl beyond the owl, more or less like what happened in Cube Zone, uh, that would make a lot of sense. So, uh, looking forward to struggling to have the minute controls required to get a lot of this spare money here. Right? So, last time I just, like, flew off too high. What if I did something like this? <laughs> yeah, like, I just, I fly off too high. How do I fly less high? Okay, so that will do. That did do. Is there like... Oh boy. Oh, no. Is this where the fruit's gonna be? Maybe. I mean, look, if I have to sacrifice progress for fruit, this is not the first time this will happen. What? Dude, why are you not... Okay, well, I didn't want to sacrifice... Ah, oh, jeez, really? I was uh, really fine. It's a. I pretend it's fine. God damn it! Well. Like the the control physics are so not created for this. Like this does not feel comfortable. Like it should. I feel like it shouldn't be that bad. But hey, I got fruit this time, and I got nowhere else to go. Go. So yeah, I mean, I could maybe jump around on these and get some extra money that way, but I just don't know if the risk is worth it. So I'm gonna try and just kind of go here, get some of this money, hopefully. Yeah, dodge crows, as one does. Crow dodging. But here at the midpoint... Uh... Dude, alright, you know what, let's just die. Let's just die and reset our time. That's just the smart thing to do. So here I am, a million money, and uh, whoa, there you go. It's not a million, but it's a lot more than I would have had, I feel like. And, oh, shoot. I could not tell that that thing was that close. Me and my eyeballs, we're best friends. All right, let's do this again. Go, big leap. Yeah, jump a little bit earlier than my eyes believe. So I'm used to playing. Like, my, my eyes in 3D are not compatible, but I'm used to playing 3D games. Like, I know how to compensate. It's just that the first time I encounter something, you know, maybe I'll get tricked. But, you know, eventually I'll, uh... I'll know... Oh, boy. What cues I need. Okay, you kind of need to move with it a little bit. Okay, okay, so here we go, underneath, we do some wall jumps, that's pretty fun. There we go, I wall jumped, and now we're on the run. Coin is here, coin is here, coins are everywhere, kinda. Oh boy, uh, I 
you know what, I'm just gonna jump you instead. So there's, yeah, see, here's Father Owl. I should probably claim it now, because I don't know, like, how much more money I need. Like, I don't know. Maybe 37 isn't enough. So I think it's better to just kind of nail in the one we know we got. I think that's just the wisest decision. to save that. Alright, now it's bird. Bird, rose. Rose of birds. Attack. The recreation of that bird movie. Alright, I have more of coin, I think, than I did the first time I got here. So is it just weighted out? Like, there's probably gonna be obstacles, I'm assuming. No, there isn't, and the time difference is extremely minor. I'm guessing this is made uh, assuming that it is possible to do without stopping at a midpoint. I think that's why. So, merely by stopping for the midpoint, I made this a lot easier on myself. So there we go, we got S1, 2, and 3 unlocked. We won't have to worry about that when we're done. And I got actually some time, I'm not at session length yet. So, Frosty Uphill Battle. Great name, great taste. Oh boy, this is looking windy. I don't know what possibly could have given me that impression. And it's on like big ol' icy spires. Alright, we got wind socks. So we got gimmicks, you know? We got gimmicks. Alright, so... Uh, so I wonder if it's like, if you're in the shadow, you're in the clear? Alright, so roll, 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 roll. Now we're here. Now we're gonna go to that other place right here. Yeah, we are taking this slowly. Oh, and then I have to stay on behind that wall that's gonna move? And not even make it there? Oh, wait a second, what's this? There's like a pinwheel. Oh, I found the fruit! <laughs> There's a little pinwheel, and that distracted my eyeballs, but hey, it, it, it did its job. I saw the tree, and I bought the tree. See, here I'm slow to go away from... Oh, but you can cheat with your tongue a little bit. Okay, yeah. User tools. Grapple hook is a powerful tool. Look at that. Uh, and then here I messed it up, and it's fine. It's not, but it's fine. See, here I'm trying to move, and I think I'm just, like, moving against a wall too much or something, and the game doesn't like that. So I don't know if someone is, like, planning on me to, like, rage against the concept of wind or whatever. But this isn't really wind. What this is, is that there is a death flame that fills up the world once in a while. And, uh, you know, you just gotta be hiding behind something when that happens. Like, that's what's happening. So, although it is represented as wind, it is not wind gameplay, and so I don't mind it. Oh, I'm just gonna be jettisoned like right here. Is the oh am I gonna have to do a wind jump? Yeah. Never mind! This is wind gameplay! 
How is that gonna work? Oh boy. Whoa. This is silly. Uh, yep, okay. Bend, literally. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it got me to bounce on the platform, but then, yeah, like, there was no, I, hmm. There was no, I, hmm, indeed. My thoughts, exactly. Well, okay. So I think that's what I need to do, but without hitting the sock. Yeah, look at that. And I'm, like, safe here, right? Sure am. Get a nose full of sign. Uh-oh. Nice. Kinda. I didn't expect the bounce back like that to be so violent. Uh, whoa, oh. Well, okay. I... Saved it. I jumped too far. Really? This is where I died, over there, where you know I saved myself, but I couldn't, like, disembark. Stay in the shadow, stay in the shadow. Oh, there's bird. Take it cool, take it cool. Don't rush, don't rush. Hey bird, how do you do? You're gonna fly me away in this storm, aren't you? You are, you just went and the wind was blowing. Whoa, and there we're gonna get another choice. Well, that's another choice for next time, I think. Cause you know, things are getting harder. I. This is wind used good. This is a fantastic way of using wind. One is just, when is death, find the safe spot. Fair enough. And then, you know, using wind as a way to make big jumps, that can be fun if it's done right. And I feel like the engine here is just flexible enough that it felt fine. No, yeah. Good wind. This is a good wind kind of day. Those happen.